In this training session, we're going to discuss the user profile feature of your website. So the first thing we're going to do, if you're not already there, we're going to go ahead and go to your website. We're going to go ahead and log in. That's if you're not already logged in. And now I am logged in. If you notice at the top left, there is a menu item called user profile. Now, most of you should have this menu item at the top left of your website. So we're going to go ahead and click on the user profile menu item. And this will bring up the user profile area. The user profile basically contains all the information of the individual that's logged in. You can do a few things with this area. Uh, we have four tabs here. We have the user profile tab, which is the main tab that contains all the personal information of the individual logged in. We have the subscriptions tab, which allows an individual to subscribe to certain email bulletin categories or lists, so to speak. So first, we're going to go over the main user profile tab. And this tab basically covers all your personal information. If you see, we have first name, last name, category, and the category is basically address book category that that individual is in. We have the login name as well as the password. Now, you're not going to be able to see the password because it's encrypted due to security reasons. And as an administrator, logged in, we're going to be able to see the security level, but a regular resident that logs in will not be able to see this area, as they should not be able to. And uh, basically, if we want to go through this even more, you know, we have birth date, employer, we have multiple fields, email address, it's basically all personal information of the individual that's logged in. So say if someone wants to change their information, they would just log in as we did, go into the user profile area, and say I want to add an email address. We would go to the email address field, and we would just type in our email address. I'm going to use a test one. And then if that's the only change we really wanted to do in this area, we would scroll all the way down, and we would click on Save Changes. Now when we click on Save Changes, this is going to basically apply what we did to that individual's account. There's also a few other nice things in here. We have a picture option where you can browse and find a picture on your computer and basically upload it for an individual. Some you know, residents like to have fun with this. They, they want to post up their picture on their profile. That's what you can do there. But basically, this user profile section allows you to update and view your personal information. Now, you can do certain things also, like hide certain things from the address book. Now, some individuals don't want their email address or the home phone number to be displayed. So we've made certain boxes here where you can check that when an individual logs in, they can hide their phone number or they can hide their email address. These are options they have in this user profile section as well. So that's a pretty brief explanation of the user profile that should help you with this tab. Now we're going to move on to the subscriptions tab. Within the subscriptions, you're allowed to basically subscribe yourself to a mailing list that's through the email bulletins. So you have created an email bulletin category board members or just a typical resident or someone at a specific address that you want to target, an individual that logs in can go to the subscriptions and basically subscribe themselves to whatever emailing list that you've set up. And they'll just choose whichever ones they want to be on and click Save Changes for that to apply.